Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When last we left off, we had de finished the defense of Moria. Had finished all three parts with the Way of Smiths, the Deep Way, and the 21st Hall. However, Bosi is afraid that our costs were too high and that it seems like the Orcs of Moria are innumerable and endless. So he has asked us to travel into Lothlorien across the river Nimrodale and to see if we can find Howdir and see if we can get an audience with the Lady of the Wood. So that is what we are going to do now. We are going to come over here on the Stable Master. Let's see if he's got a ride. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. He does indeed. He's got a ride to the 21st Hall, so we will go ahead and take it. And we are going to continue taking rides until we get back to the first hall and make our way out of Moria. So we will see you in just a little while. And we wouldn't know, and we did know it wouldn't be very long. You see behind us the extents of the first hall stretching out toward uh, the Bridge of Khazad Doom, lost in the mist behind us there. We are going to travel on out through the gates. We will be living, leaving through the Dimeral Gate here. And let us head on out through the Shattered Doors. And into the Vale of Lothlorien. There we are. So that's what we've got to do now. We are going to travel on down the hill to Lothlorien. It happens to be nighttime, so let me check here. I had my light on earlier. Yep, there we go. So we'll be a little brighter than we were during the Battle of the 21st Hall. I couldn't get my light to turn on there. So I'm afraid it was a little bit dark. But this time around, we will at least have the light around our pony here. Now we are going to travel. Let me pull up the map. We've traveled a little ways down here. We've traveled right down here to uh, this camp at Mechem Bizru from the gates. We've traveled there, but we haven't gone any further. So we are going to follow the road all the way on down, all the way down the Dimmerel Dale, following along the Celebrant River until we get right down here to Nimradale, which is the river that crosses the path right on the border of, of Lorien and the, the, the Golden Wood here. So that is where we are going to head. Let's see what all we have along the way. I recognize right over there is the, the mirror mirror. We've already grabbed that stable. We don't have another one to grab until we get all the way down to the very edge of the golden wood itself. So let's zoom on out and just kind of enjoy the ride down the hill, shall we? Lots of orc camps along this way. Lots of, oh great they're light blues too so we can still still battle these and get some experience for them above and beyond the actual quests so it'll be a little tougher than just hacking and slashing our way through a bunch of of no level grays there but we are going to continue on down enjoy our ride through the valley I said camps all along here. There are like three, I think, orc camps along this ride that have a good number of associated quests and all to do with them. And I believe when we reach our rest destination down here that we will have another skirmish camp in case you need it. Another orc camp to our right there. And the orcs do patrol these roads, as you see, the orc way, waylayers. They don't actually get on the road very much, but they do cross it. And they do come close enough to it that they can um, aggro on you. Starting to see the trees there, the beautiful yellow leaves of the Malorn trees. We have reached the Valley of Nimrodale now. 
I've said a little bit bittersweet here being that Nimmerdale was the server that I started on and the one that I enjoyed for so long even whenever its population did drop to unsustainable levels. It'd be like going back to EverQuest. I would dearly miss Prexus now that Prexus is gone and been rolled into another. There is the camp. We'll show you where you are now. Now that Prexus has been rolled into another server. See right there, we are just up above the crossroad, the crossing of the two rivers. There's the stable master. We'll go ahead and grab Sweet that. Light, Malon. All right, so we've had hit the Echad Andestal, the Echad Andestal stable master, and a new deed, Wanderer of the Golden Wood. You're going to see a lot of these people here, the Lothlorian Sentinels, and here's Echad Andestal. All right, a very large, nice camp here. Once again, has everything that you could possibly want, including bards, although you don't really need them anymore. And even a taxidermist is here. So like I said, this is a very big, very important camp. Now, what we were gonna try and do is try and get to Haldir, who is on a flat southwest of the river, southeast of the river. So let us travel back this way. Now, I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to do this or not. It has been a while, very long while, since I tried to get into Lothlorien. And part of the problem with Lothlorien is those sentinels that you saw there. There used to be a bridge into it, but the bridge has collapsed and has broken. And right there, the bridge is gone as fell times have fallen. And here is the river, the stream Nimmerdale. And in fact, we ride up here. We'll take a moment. There is actually a statue of the fair maiden herself. That is a statue of Nimmerdale. The young elf maiden whose voice is said to uh, be reflected in the sounds of the water there. So let's just take a few moments to reflect and to remember servers that we have all loved and have had to move on from. Okay, we are back. We have paid our respects. Now, let us see. There is a flat right there. Said, right. The problem is the archers. We have to work our way around the archers because I can tell you right now, they will kill you. You have to get faction in order to go into uh, Lothlorien. You have to gain faction. You have to gain their trust. The archers, you're a hobbit, you're a man, you're a dwarf, you're working for the, the free peoples. Um, they don't care. They will kill you until you have gained enough faction with them to keep them from killing you. So, I don't know if the one right along the riverbank will. And I'm going to hope that these won't. We should be close enough. All right, there we are. Now, watch me get up there and find out that they have changed all this and that you no longer need faction and you're free to come and go through Lothlorien as you wish. If so, I would be extremely disappointed in the game. Do you hear the clear voice of Nimmerdale sighing among the hurrying waters? All right, there's Haldir over here. That is who we're coming to check with. Hello, Mr. Haldir. Book 6, Chapter 1, Desperate Times. Why should we aid the dwarves? It was folly for them to return to Moria. A singular request. You are bold, stranger, to seek an audience with the Lady Galadriel. I, how dear of Lorien, cannot permit you to enter this land. It is no small matter to enter Lothlorien. Chapter 2, An Enemy of the Orcs. The Orcs of Moria are awake. Once they were content to burrow in the deep roots of Fanuadol the Grey, Celebdil the Wise, and Caradris the Cruel. Now they pour from the doors of the Black Pit to threaten these woods. 
You say you have fought the orcs and goblins of Moria. If you are truly their foe, then show me. How many have you slain in the dark tunnels of Moria? Will I be satisfied that you are the friend you say, and not a spy in league with those forces who wish us ill? I will judge your tally, but I promise you nothing. So we have to complete the Goblin Slayer deed and the Orc Slayer deed in Moria. Which we may have actually completed by now, so we got to talk to Aldir again. The Lady Galadriel must be told of the evils the dwarves have disturbed within Moria. Yes, we have. So as we see, we've actually gotten plenty of orcs while we were in there. The record of your victories affirms your claim, Narlo. I am sorry I doubted you, but these are dangerous times. We have had many strange visitors at the boundaries of Lothlorien before you. If you are trustworthy, we have need of your aid. Chapter 3, Rumil and Orifin. I have sent word to Lady Galadriel, Narlo. She will weigh your need and determine what role the elves will play in these new deeds in Moria. In the meantime, I would appreciate your help in patrolling the boundaries of the wood. Speak to my brothers Rumil and Orifin and offer them your aid. They speak little of the common tongue, but hatred of the orcs will be understood by all enemies of the one enemy. You will find them on the far shores of Nimmerdale to the north. If you walk along the northern banks of the river, you will find my brothers. Okay, so we need to find Orifin and Rumil. That we can do. And yes, as you see, he is involved in a later book as well, but we don't need to get into that at the moment. Okay. Let us see, and I'm pretty sure as well that the elves could see through your sneaking. I'm wanting to say that it is, wasn't possible to uh, to turn on your sneak and get past the guards. I'm pretty sure that they uh, would take you out that way as well. Ooh, we're getting some weird artifact with our shadows there. Okay, so we are looking for Orifin and Rumil. There's Rumil. Rumil bows his head to you and points into the distance, away from the eaves of Lorien. He then shrugs and puts a hand on his bow. He may not speak the common tongue, but his message is clear. For the moment, his post is quiet. The orc threat is gone for the time being. Okay, now we need to find Orifin. And I believe he will be further up the hill. Back up this way. Or the, the river, I mean. Let's see. We will cross across over here at the ford. Actually, let's just swim. Although, I think we're still going to have to get to the ford to get out. I don't think we can climb up that... Climb up that uh, stony bank there. And let us check and see if we can find Orifin. There he is. Very good. Orifin is about to speak when something distracts him suddenly. Eric, he hisses. All right, we can do this. No problems. Barely even a barely even should count as a as an escort mission whenever you're fighting with someone that can hold up for themselves. in just a moment. There we go. Very good. Are you... More orcs? More orcs. Let's see if we can distract that one and get his attention. You know what? I'm tired of you. Sometimes I forget I'm a burglar. 
Sometimes I forget I can do that. But when I do remember I can do it, it's glorious. Alright, not needing not needing to know who broke the uh, the mez on that one, do we? Mei Panas Abado Sinar Kaldir. Okay, sounded like something like they are gone, they are no more, return to Caldir. Okay, we propelled an attack, so now let us return to Haldir. And we will see you when we get back to the flat. We have traveled back across the river and we are back on Talan Haldir. Hello, nurse. Okay, let us tell him what his kinfolk have to say. You have my thanks. I thank you for helping my brothers, Narlo, and for safeguarding the eaves of Lorien. The Lady Galadriel has sent word to me concerning your petition and the fate of the dwarves. I will relay to you her message. We do not allow outsiders into the Golden Wood. Chapter 4, Deep is the Abyss A long time before you arrived, an even stranger company came to Lorien. Blindfolded, they were brought to Karn Am Karen Amroth, for in no way would we endanger the safety of our land. Sighed tidings they brought with them, and grief. Haldir pauses and then goes on. The Lady Galadriel sent a small party of elves into Moria following the tidings this company brought with them. She says, if you wish to save the dwarves, you will render your aid unto those elves, for their task in Moria is very important. They have made a small camp in Gwathrindath, the shadowed refuge among the foundations of stone. The lady says that an evil greater by far than the orc presence lies beneath the foundations of stone, and must be faced if your dwarves are to be saved. Okay, so it looks like we are going to be heading down to the Foundations of Stone in Chapter 4 here. Those are a few easy chapters to tear through. Let us sit here and smoke a pipe with Haldir. I'm going to pull up the map of Moria right quick. Right here. So when we come back in, we are going to be traveling into the one zone in Moria we haven't been into yet. You see all the little flags? But we haven't got any down here in the Foundations of Stone yet. Looks like right there. Bet right there that Forge Master. That is probably the Shadowed Refuge right there. Right on the entranceway of the Foundations of Stone. So that is where we are going to go. Down into here where the Balrog came from. Where they, where they dug too greedily and too deep. And down here where... Down here where nameless things and all at the earth where where even Lord Sauron that were around in the world before Sauron even came about. So here we go. That is what we are going to do. We will see you then. Thank you for coming along with us. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.